Hello and welcome to CTB Marketing, carmelbaird.com and wordpressforyou.com. I'm Carmel Baird and I would like to take you through a new tool that I recently acquired. It's fairly new on the market and it will save you an awful lot of time when it comes to rewriting your articles that you need. If you did the 30 day challenge this year, you will see how important it is that you have unique content on all these sites that you want to be linking back to your main money site. They, I know Caro just couldn't stress it enough when we were doing a site in one of the web 2.0 areas that it had to be unique content. Now to get that, it's a real pain in the butt you have to write a new article for everyone or you can use something like magic article rewriter it it is just such a fantastic little tool now what magic article rewriter will do for you is it will easily write PLR articles or rewrite them it will easily rewrite your original articles because you control the words and the sentences. They, it's not a garbled gobbledygook um, program that just puts in stuff. You're the one that puts it in, so you're the one that controls it. And through this you can create unique articles. And you can improve your article content. The other thing that it has is nested spinning. Now nested spinning is where you'll spin a sentence then you can take that sentence and then you can spin words within that sentence. And it all just saves you so much time. Now Magic Article Rewriter will spin up to 1,000 unique articles at a time, all in the one folder for you. So that gives you a lot of, a lot of choice. And the other thing is that it's a one-time purchase. It's not a monthly membership and you don't have to rely on somebody else's server being available when you want to use it because it sits right there on your desktop or on your laptop. And there's a lot of other features with it and I'll get on and show you those now. Now as you can see it's a fairly simple interface. It has a menu taskbar across the top here that controls it all. It's very very easy to use. Now you can load up an article from a folder on your website or you can paste one in that either way it doesn't matter I'm just going to paste one in here now and that's how quick it is this is where you save them this is these the little function that I say little it's not really because it does such a lot that's a function that controls everything for you, allows you to enter the words that are going to be spun into the new articles. This one here will rewrite one article for you. This one here will mass rewrite articles. This one here is tokens. You can set up tokens so that when you come across a word you have already decided what word you're going to use in the spins to replace that word. So you don't have to go through and find them again you just apply that token to it so that you apply the tokens you can also manage the synonyms dictionary this is where you manage the tokens it has a great little spell checker in it that you cut you copy you paste okay so now when you do an, an article as I said, you just load it. The thing that I will advise is that you don't include full stops or commas or dashes or anything like that when you're rewriting because everything will slot before whatever that particular thing is, whether it's a comma or a, a full stop. So you don't have to worry about having extra commas here. Down here, you would go from happen to there and you would leave the question mark. So you make everything that you rewrite for that particular question into a question. Okay, now the first thing to do, which I've found, is rewrite your sentences. 
So now if we were going to rewrite this one here, you're highlighted and then you bring this up. Okay. Now this is a little pop-up and once you've got something highlighted there, it appears in here and because it's a sentence, it will be on the spin sentence part. If you highlighted a word, it would just appear in the spin words. So then you replace your text down here and you click enter when you finish each one. So you would rewrite that. The basic of playing the guitar is all about learning chords. So you'd rewrite that as many times as you wanted, hitting into each, after each one. Okay, Then that would be replaced up there. I'll just show you. Okay, now these are the sentences that I added and as you can see they've been added here. They use curly braces at both ends and then each one is separated by the bar. So that's your sentence is replaced. Now to replace the words we call this back up and now because we've got a word highlighted we can add that one essentially nuts and bolts ABC and what else have we got the fundamentals and the nitty-gritty now you can use all those now if you wanted everywhere that you had basics in that article right you could add that as a token or you could replace it all. And if you add it as a token, it's there for the next one. So we just replace it all at the moment. We don't have any tokens in, you have to put those in. Okay, now you can see that it's replaced the basics in all of that sentence. I don't have it anywhere else in there, so that's if I had basics down here somewhere else, it would replace that. Sometimes things just don't work. Now, as you can see, there's several things here that you could add. It, see, the guitar is all concerning learning chords, regarding learning chords in relation to. You could add any of those that you want with reference to learning chords as regards. So, there's this dictionary of synonyms that is with this program is very good. You, there are a lot to choose from. So that's what you do and then when you spin it, I'll bring up the one that I prepared earlier and show you. There, as you can see, the blue are all the sentences that have been spun and the green are the words within the sentences that have been spun. And then when you spin this, you do a mass spin, right? It, you can have as many as you want. You can take that up as high as you want, up to a thousand. You've got an output folder that it goes into. But before you do that, the most important thing is that you save it. Right, you save the article, that's a quick save one. But there you go, you can do these in several different ways. You can go back and rewrite your article again and you will finish up with different content because you will select different words. Okay, well, I'll catch you on another video and thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.